Handy Hudson Knight here. How can you reach monetization or become a YouTube partner without having to feverishly do constant live streams for weeks and even months to reach those 4,000 watch hours? Well, I'm going to share with you ways that I've been able to reach my watch hour goal to get monetized right after this. Those 4,000 continuous watch hours, and I should say it's 4,000 watch hours for the last 365 days or 12 months. It's not the life of your channel. So every, it's, it's a rolling amount that has to be continually met in order for you to reach monetization status or YouTube partner status. Now you see a lot of people scrambling to do live streams every day, sometimes multiple times a day, in order to build up those watch hours because they may not be getting enough views on their videos in order to achieve that fast enough. Well, I've done my, my share of live streams and live streams have been a fantastic tool to connect with my audience. It's a great way to share about who you are naturally, so I'm very thankful for the streams I've been able to do and I'll I will do other live streams in the future, but one of the main ways that I've been able to achieve my watch hours are through just a handful of my videos that have done extremely well with the YouTube algorithm. And I share this to encourage you to do due diligence with your research when it comes to SEO or when, when it comes to finding out what people are searching out related to your niche or your content it will save you hours and hours of having to sit in front of the camera doing endless live streams to build up those watch hours. Now I have about 10 high achieving videos on my channel that are working for me. So it's like a business where I'm the boss and I have these people working on my behalf to generate something for me. These videos, and there's really only about five or six that are really pumping in the views and the watch time for me, but this has generated a momentum of watch time every day that has brought me to be able to get monetized. So this is just a fantastic way to build the momentum on your channel and make sure to check out my video where I talk about three critical areas of where you should focus on your channel. One of them being the SEO aspect because we need that in order to bring in a new audience, to bring in more subscribers. You can't be constantly making content just to your subscriber base and then you're never really getting exposure outside of that. So that has been really the, the engine or the thrust of me building those watch hours are from those handful of videos that have done extremely well. Now how did I figure out those videos would work on YouTube or get that momentum? Well, I really didn't know. But I put up several videos a week for months on end and in a sense experimenting with what works and what doesn't and doing my research on what people were seeking out. My top performing video is 14 power tips for Gmail and you can check that out. That video has brought in the bulk of my watch time just because of the sheer number of views and it's a longer video so there have been some people that have watched the entire video which is about 23 minutes long or a good chunk of it so that generates a lot of watch time for me every single day and has saved me from having to sit in front of my phone or my camera doing live streams every day when I could be doing something else or producing new content that is going to continue to get views way into the future. Whereas a live stream is going to get views just for that particular day or maybe about a week and then it pretty much lays dead for the most part. So this is just a very efficient, wise way to build watch hours on your channel to help you to achieve that monetization status. And once you are monetized, it's going to continue to bring people to your content to help you make money from those ads. 
because you do if you do just live streams up until you get monetized and then you stop your live streams then your momentum is going to stop and then you're not going to have much content uh, being watched by by much of anybody so it's really you're thinking not only for the present building up those watch hours but you're building for your future so that when you do get monetized you're going to have people coming to watch your content and generating that income that you so desperately want through YouTube to make your efforts worth it. So I hope this has been helpful for you. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, The Handy Hudsonite, for more tips, hacks, and reviews so that you can get the job done. Don't forget that notification bell so that you can get my content as it goes up, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.